I'm about to do your Libra January 2021 love reading, and in this reading, we're going to take a look at your romantic love story. Libra, how is it going? Come on in, have a seat, make yourself comfortable. My name's Alan from UnknownTruthTarot.com. Welcome back to another Libra love reading video. If this is your first time here and you have questions that you want answered about your romantic love life or your relationship, then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell icon so you never miss any of the Libra love readings I post for you every week. Now let's get on with this Libra reading for today because today we're going to take a look at your romantic love story and I'm going to do that by pulling a few cards for you Libra. I'm going to pull some cards for your romantic person of interest. I'm going to pull some cards to represent the energy of the connection between the two of you. And then I'm going to clarify everything with the second deck to see if we can get down to the bottom of the unknown truth about what's really going on in this love connection of yours. Now, we're also going to take a look at these energies in terms of the recent past, the current energies for January 2021, as well as the energies of the immediate future coming up. Now, just keep in mind that this is a general reading and it's not even possible for it to resonate with literally every single Libra on the whole planet all at the same time. And it's even possible for the energies to get reversed or flip-flopped around backwards, especially for cross-watchers. So regardless of how this reading resonates for you, you still probably want to check your moon sign, your rising sign, and your Venus sign videos, just because they can give you more insight and more clarity about what's really going on in your particular situation. And you can find the links to those videos in the description box down below. Now enough yakking, let's get on with this Libra reading and let's start by pulling one card to represent your energy in this connection from the recent past. Let's get one card. Okay, we got it. Okay. On the bottom of the deck, the overall energy of this reading is the Two of Wands. So the Two of Wands is a crossroad. It's a fork in the road. It's a decision point. And it's a decision about which path leads you to the world that you really want and which path do you need to leave behind in order to get there. So looks like we got some sort of a decision going on here. A decision needing to be made in terms of what you actually want. <clears throat> now... For the Reese of Pass, Libra, you've got the Eight of Pentacles, the person got the Ten of Swords, and for the connection between you, we have the Knight of Swords. So this Eight of Pentacles for you, Libra, this represents putting in the work on something or being willing to put in the work on something in order to get what you want. So probably putting in the work on this relationship. Tell me more about this Eight of Pentacles for Libra in the recent past, please. Okay. What do we have? Alrighty. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So this, the Ten of Pentacles, this is like massive stability, massive abundance, massive prosperity. This is like the happy family, happy home life card. This represents having your physical 3D reality in order. Having your money, your finances in order. This can represent the combining together of two people two families, all their assets and resources, combining all that together to make something very stable, very abundant, very prosperous. But then we've got a Ten of Swords right underneath that. This is that coming to an end here. Eight of Swords here. I'm seeing like repeating cards out here. We got the Ten of Swords in your person's energy, and I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but the energy of the connection between you in the current energies for January 2021 is this Eight of Swords. And we've got the Ten of Swords here. We've got the Eight of Swords next. Some sort of difficult situation that you're going through. We got the Strength card there. Yep, <clears throat> looks like an ending to the stability being stuck in your head about it, like grinding on it on a repeating loop in your mind, thinking about it over and over and over again, not being really sure what the safe step to take is, so you're, you're thinking about it a lot, feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked because of it. The strength card means this is a very difficult situation. You're having to tap into your internal strength, uh, trying to get through this, tap into your, like, your inner courage to face your fears to try and get through this. This can also represent you trying to like tame the beast within, trying to hold yourself back so you don't rush in too quickly and make some sort of mistake here. But we've got you in the recent past being 
at least willing to work on this connection, putting in the work on it, trying to get what you want out of it. To clarify that, we have the Hermit, we have the Knight of Wands, and we have the Tower. So this Hermit, this is a card of withdrawal, of isolation. It's about going internal, doing some soul searching, some deep inner reflection, some deep contemplation, doing a lot of thinking about something, trying to figure out what to do moving forward. And we've got this Knight of Wands. This is the second fastest moving knight in the deck. This is about rushing forward, taking rapid, passionate action towards something you have a lot of desire for. So, willing to put in the work on it, but having to do a lot of thinking about it. I'm, I'm wondering if this is you, like, actually trying to take actions toward your person here. And it not working out the way you want it to because we've got a tower here. This is where everything comes crumbling down. This is an abrupt change that takes place where nothing's the same after this. This is like the universe stepping in and bringing the tower down. Like The question that most people ask when they run into a tower is why is this happening to me? But it's not really happening to you. It's happening for you. This is something that's probably not in your best interest. It's not where you're really supposed to be. Usually when you run into a tower, the universe has given you many opportunities to move on, to move away from this tower, this structure that you've kind of created in your life that you're kind of staying stuck in, and you're not really supposed to be there. And it's the universe has given you plenty of opportunities to do something about that, and you, you haven't. So it steps in on your behalf, and it just knocks the tower down. It kind of forces your hand, forces you to kind of move on from some place that you're not supposed to be. For your person's energy in the recent past, Libra, we got the Ten of Swords. This is an abrupt ending to something, a swift ending to something, a painful ending. Sometimes this is an ending that they didn't see coming or that you didn't see coming, hence the swords in this person's back. This can also represent an ending in betrayal, hence the swords in the person's back. Like they were stabbed in the back and betrayed here. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords for Libra's person in the recent past, please. Okie dokie. We've got two Libra energies just popped out here. Let's see what we have. On the bottom of the deck, we have Temperance. So this is Sagittarius energy. This is an energy of trying to be patient about something, assimilating changes. I mean, we've got a tower here. This is an abrupt change that's happened. We've got an ending taking place here. This is like about assimilating changes. Mixing things together a little bit at a time, taking a step back, looking at the big picture, trying to figure out what's going on before they come in and make some adjustments, make some like fine-tuning type adjustments here. Now this, every once in a while, this can represent, <clears throat> excuse me, reconciliation energy. I'm not feeling that at all in this case. This is, this is feeling like assimilating changes for your person here. And right under this Temperance card, we have the Four of Pentacles. This is holding on tightly to something, not wanting to let something go. We have the Two of Cups next. This is a love connection between two people. This is I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We're connected, but it's a two. And in Tarot, twos represent needing to make some sort of a choice. That's the overall energy of the reading, the Two of Wands. A decision about which path to go down, which path leads you to the world you want, which path do you leave behind? We've got your person like trying to assimilate the changes that are taking place here with this ending, with this tower moment. Not wanting to let go of this connection. But then we've got the world. This is the ending of one cycle, the beginning of a beautiful new cycle. We've got a Knight of Cups. I feel like this is connected too. The Knight of Cups, is, Knights are action takers. Cups are about love and emotions, so this is actions toward love and emotions. I'm feeling like, uh, man. I'm feeling like this is a love offer for your person. Either your person is receiving a love offer from somewhere... Or they're making a love offer somewhere. We've got a Seven of Pentacles next. This is 
a period of taking stock of the relationship, taking stock of this connection, of this whole situation, looking at the seeds that have been planted and trying to determine are these seeds going to grow into the Ten of Pentacles that they really want. Is this worth investing in? Is this worth continuing to invest in? Or is this a spot where maybe it's not going to pan out the way they want it to? And this is them thinking about maybe cutting their losses and moving on. This is, this is that period of time where they're contemplating these types of things. We've got a five of, of cups next. This is sadness and remorse about the past. It's about focusing on these three cups that have been spilled out. All the love, all the emotions that have been spilled out, all the time, effort, and energy that's been spilled out. It's about having their focus on what they don't have anymore, what they've lost, about, and feeling the sadness of that, feeling that loss, and at the same time not really being focused on these two full cups that are behind them, not really being focused on, on this connection that we've got here. Hmm. I've also got an Ace of Pentacles here too, which is like some new opportunity presenting itself for your person. This is like a an opportunity for some stability, something abundant and prosperous, some new tangible opportunity. We got a Five of Swords next. This is a painful situation. This is like yeah, this can be bickering, arguing, fighting. This could be what this tower is about. This this could be what's kind of put you into hermit mode here. This could be what the ending is about. I mean, actually, I, I see... I'm not really liking what I see here, if I'm being honest about it. Just to clarify this Ten of Swords, this ending in your person's energy, we have the Ace of Wands. We have the Three of Swords. We have Justice. And we have the Queen of Swords. So this Ace of Swords, this is a passionate new beginning. So something is being brought to an end. Your person is being patient with something. Trying to assimilate these changes. Maybe trying to create some new connection here. Some passionate new beginning somewhere else. At the same time though, they're, they're wanting to hold on tightly to this connection. It's like they don't want to let it go. But, but it, they are letting it go. At least in the recent past. Now we've got the Three of Swords here. This is heartbreak and sadness, usually from a third party situation. It doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic third party, although it very well could be, especially considering we've got this Ace of Wands here. We've got a tower moment here. We've got this decision point about which path do they go down. This could be any energy that's not you, Libra, that's not your person. I mean, this could be anything. Anything that we humans do enough of creates its own separate energy. But, like I said, this could very well be a romantic third-party type energy. Now, next, we've got the Justice card, which is the Major Arcana Libra card here. This is about doing the right thing, the fair thing, the just thing. The sword in the center of the card is used to sever things that aren't in balance, so balance can be restored, and the right, fair, just thing can happen. Next, we've got another Libra energy. We have the Queen of Swords. This is she who knows the truth. Now, she'll offer to let you speak your truth, but she already knows the truth. So the truth you speak to her better match the truth she already knows, or she's going to use that sword to cut you. So this is an energy of speaking the truth about something, cutting off things and people that don't serve you anymore, or at least your person doing this. Hmm. Yeah, I'm feeling like the... Usually this card to me is about like trying to restore balance. It's about trying to do the right, fair, just thing. In this case, I'm not really feeling that. I'm feeling like this means that something is not fair, something is not balanced, something is not right and just. Which is why we've got this painful ending with a, a new passionate beginning somewhere, why we've got a three of swords which could indicate a third party. That's definitely not fair, it's not right, it's not just. It's probably what's caused this tower moment for you. It's probably what put you into hermit mode. Now see, I'm, I'm seeing this a little differently now. We've got the hermit with this knight of wands out here. 
rapid passionate action towards something there's a lot of desire for this is like a player type energy this can be a wishy-washy in and out type energy rushing in all passionate getting what they want rolling out going all passionate somewhere else to get what they want like loyalty not being there like back and forth that could very well be what put you into hermit mode this could be telling me that this is your person doing that you could be dealing with a fire sign could be dealing with a Virgo. Man, you know, we've got another fire sign here, Sagittarius. Overall energy of the reading is a fire sign. This could be Aries. This could be Leo. We've, we've got a Knight of Wands again, which not looking so sweet here. Got a lot of fire out here. Uh, you could be dealing with another Libra, I suppose. We've got <clears throat> a Libra card here. We've got two Libra cards here. Uh, we've got, let's see, Gemini. This could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here with this Knight of Swords. This Knight of Swords is the energy of the connection between the two of you in the recent past. This is the fastest moving knight in the deck. This is about rushing forward and speaking the truth about something rushing forward, taking rapid, decisive action about something. This is the energy of the connection. So there's either some truth being spoken here. That could be what this is about, like speaking the truth, trying to do the right thing in terms of speaking the truth about this third party, about this passionate new beginning, which is what's causing the ending here, or your person wanting the ending to happen. Let's clarify this Knight of Swords in the recent past for this connection, please. Why is this Knight of Swords here? I've seen a lot of fire here. <clears throat> Damn, bottom of the deck, we got a Ten of Swords again. So this is rushing forward, taking decisive action about an ending, speaking the truth about an ending. And ending to the Ten of Pentacles. The stability is coming apart here. This happy family life, happy home life. This, It's all coming apart. Hmm. Now to clarify this Knight of Swords. We got the Devil. The Five of Wands. And the Two of Swords. This Devil card. This is Capricorn energy. This is a heavy heavy energy this is sometimes a toxic energy this is sometimes like a addiction obsession some some not good energy i'm not feeling a good vibe off of this this is like feeling trapped by something feeling like you can't escape something this could be telling me that this connection is very like magnetic like you you guys both feel like you can't quite escape it Feel like you're you're bound to each other you're tied to each other Th this could be telling me that this this was a toxic connection that this this was not a good connection between the two of you and some truth is being spoken about that we've got a five of wands which is another leo energy here this is a conflict of some sort but this is a conflict in like an internal conflict the conflict in your guys's desires you're pulling yourselves in multiple different directions having like an internal tug of war in terms of what it is that you actually want here and again overall energy of the reading is the two of wands a decision about what you want which path do you want to go down which path leads you to the world you want which path do you need to leave behind we've got another two here two of swords this is a decision needing to be made only it's not really being made, either because there, you don't have enough information to make the decision, you, there's something that you can't see, or there's something that you know is there, you just aren't willing to look at it. You don't want to see it. And that's stopping you from making the decision here. And I kind of see that because it looks like, Libra, you're willing to work on this in the recent past until some truth comes out, until like things get a little bit honest here. And then, and then it's like, boom, this is over. This ending to this. Now, in the current energies for January 2021, Libra, you got the High Priestess. Your person got the Hermit. And the connection between you, like I said, is the Eight of Swords. So this 
High Priestess card. This is card two of the Major Arcana. Again, twos represent decisions needing to be made. This card, like, she rules all the twos of the other suits. So we've got a two here and a two of wands and the overall energy. She rules that. We've got a two of swords. She rules that. So this is, this is she who knows. This is, like, she sits in front of the veil of consciousness. So she has access to all the information that you and I as humans don't have access to. So there are things that you don't know about in this situation. Maybe you're getting intuitive hits about it. Your intuition's kind of telling you that something's not right here. This could represent, you know, having dreams, getting visions, getting signs, synchronicities, gut feelings about something that's going on here. This could represent that there's something that you don't really know about. This could also represent that this connection is deeper than just something physical. It's deeper than just something emotional, which... Um, that could be what this Devil card is telling me. This is a very strong pull type of a connection. So we're going to have to clarify this and find out why is this High Priestess here for Libra in the current energies, please. Tell me more about this High Priestess. Oh, okay. Bottom of the deck, we have Temperance again. So again, this is Sagittarius energy about assimilating changes it's about being patient with something blending things together little bits at a time not being in a big hurry taking a step back looking at the big picture before you come back in to try and make some adjustments i'm not really feeling that i'm feeling that this is like assimilating the changes that have taken place here because in the past everything went to shit it looks like <clears throat> Now, th this could be you getting divine guidance, trying to assimilate these changes, still having gut feelings about some of the changes that have taken place here. We've got a Five of Cups under that, sadness and remorse about the past. This is you focusing on these three cups, the time, the effort, the love that's been spilled out. Yeah, you're, you're in a state currently of like taking stock of this connection, taking stock of this whole situation, trying to decide if this is worth you reinvesting in. Is this going to turn into what you want? Or is it time for you to cut your losses and move on? We've got this love connection. This is what you're contemplating. You're contemplating this love connection. Again, another two, which is ruled by this High Priestess card decision about this love connection the ending of one cycle the beginning of a new cycle but there's still this piece of you i'm getting goosebumps all down the back of my back side of my head here down both arms this is you still holding on tight to this still a piece of you is not wanting to let go of this connection i think a piece of you still has this hope that that you can heal this situation here now, this is the card, the star, that shows up directly after the tower. So you don't get to the star without going through a tower. I've already seen the tower in your recent past energy. So this is like the guiding light from the universe that shows up after the tower. This is what like lights your way so you can see your way forward. This is where your healing comes from. It's where your hope comes from. This is like divine guidance, which is kind of what I was feeling with this a little bit. So... Now to clarify this high priestess, Libra, we got the Five of Swords, the Knight of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. So yeah, this is a painful situation for sure. There's probably still some bickering and some arguing. At the very least, you're still in the pain from all of this. You were hurt by all of this. Hmm. I feel like there was a love offer on your person's end. This Knight of Cups is actions toward love and emotions. You were hurt by their actions toward love and emotions. I feel like intuitively you knew something was going on. You probably didn't have any facts about it. You didn't have them on video. You didn't have photographs of, of them with this other person, which is probably why you were willing to work on it. See, and when you were in hermit mode... This is not usually a choice. You don't choose to go into hermit mode voluntarily. Something happens that puts you in hermit mode. You're kind of forced there. Where you have to go inside and do all this soul searching and stuff. And when you're here, 
that's when your intuition usually speaks to you. So I don't know if you're currently out of hermit mode yet, if you're still doing all the soul searching about this. But I think intuitively you knew that your person had some sort of love offer happening on their end. You had an intuition hitting you, gut feelings about them being sneaky, trying to get away with something. This can represent lying, cheating, stealing, deceptive behavior, all around like trying to get away with something, sneaking around behind your back with some sort of a love offer. And it caused you a lot of pain. And it looks like currently you're in this state of, this is either your energy or what you're feeling based on your person ending things, cutting you off here. This Eight of Cups is detachment, like emotional detachment, physical detachment, physically walking away from something. The person in this card is walking away from eight full cups. Now, they could probably live the rest of their life on these eight full cups, but they're just not going to be happy if they do that. These eight cups aren't enough. So this is them walking away from these eight cups, going off in search of their ninth and tenth cup, their, their own personal fulfillment, their own wish fulfillment, their own... They're trying to find their ten of cups. And it requires walking away to do that. Now, that's another meaning of this seven of swords. You can see the guy can only carry five swords, and he's got to leave two behind. So this is like leaving something behind. It, it hurts to do this. And this is you assimilating the changes, but still having sadness and remorse about the past. This is telling me that you're still focused on what happened, still focused on the loss of this, still focused on all the love that was spilled out and all your time and effort that was wasted. It looks like you put a lot of effort into this in the past. Now, for your person's energy for January 2021, they have the Hermit. So, it looks like they're in Hermit mode now. Withdrawal, isolation, being forced to go internal, do soul searching, deep inner reflection, deep contemplation, trying to figure out what to do moving forward. Tell me more about this Hermit for Libra's person, please. Shit. You can't make this stuff up, I'm telling you. Okay. Bottom of the deck, the Ten of Pentacles. So they're in Hermit mode, thinking about the Ten of Pentacles. This happy family life, this happy home life that you guys had. And this is a difficult situation for them. I feel like the stability came apart. This this whole, you guys combined together, having, having some sort of happy life together has come apart. It's requiring them to tap into their inner strength to get through this. Courage to face their fears to get through this. Trying to rein themselves in, hold themselves back, not, not be too hasty and do something harsh or something rash. They're thinking about it an awful lot, though, while they're in hermit mode. This nine of swords is fears, worries, anxieties, thinking about something over and over again to the point that it's got them stressed out. Now to clarify the hermit for your person, Libra, we got the ten of swords again. The knight of pentacles. We got the king of cups. And we got the empress. So again, this Ten of Swords is a swift ending. Ending in betrayal, an ending you don't see coming. This is twice I've got the Ten of Swords on their side. So they're, they're still in hermit mode about this ending. This Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight in the deck. It's a, it's a slow, forward-moving energy, very methodical like one foot in front of the other type energy, not in any hurry whatsoever, taking their sweet old time. This, If you think about the tortoise and the hare, this is the tortoise, not the hare. Hmm. King of Cups. This is Pisces energy, this sometimes Scorpio energy. This, this represents that your person still has a lot of love and emotions for you. They're just not going to outwardly express that. They're not going to wear their heart on their sleeve. They're not going to let their emotions cloud their judgment here. Now, they're accessing their emotions and their decision-making. They're just not letting it cloud their judgment. 
This is usually someone who is like a loving, kind type person. And it's feeling like they still have a lot of love for you, even though they did you wrong. They're just not telling you this. Probably because of this Empress energy. This is the mother of the tarot deck. This is all four queens wrapped into one person. All new things are birthed through the Empress. So for me, this represents the birth of something new here. They're, they're taking slow, steady progress towards something new. Like, they're keeping their mouth shut about how they really feel toward you. This could be telling me, though, that they have feelings for someone else, too. Which is probably why they're in hermit mode here. Why there was an ending. Why I'm seeing this Three of Swords third-party scenario. It's why I'm seeing this Seven of Swords here. I think intuitively you know that they have someone else. Even if you don't have any proof of it. <clears throat> Now, currently, for the connection between the two of you, we have the Eight of Swords. Thinking about it over and over and over again. Both of you are. Thinking about it a lot. Looping it in your minds. Not sure what the safe step to take is here, and you're both feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked because of it. So tell me more about this Eight of Swords for the current connection between Libra and their person, please. Thinking about the loss over and over and over again. Having your focus in the wrong place, both of you, and both of you grinding on it. Neither of you sure what to do here. You're both feeling the loss of all this. You have sadness. You both have regrets about this. Both of you still have this hope that this can be healed. Again, this card shows up after the tower. This is the universe lighting the way so you can see your way forward. I just don't think you're seeing your way forward because both of you have your heads buried, focused on what you don't have anymore, focused on the pain of all of this, focused on the, the loss of all of it and feeling all of that, feeling those negative emotions. You got temperance again. Assimilating the changes here but still holding on tightly to something, not wanting to let go. But this is the ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. And there's that... I don't know if this is telling me this is the ending of this love connection between you, or if this is telling me this is the ending of the love connection and the beginning of some new love connection here. It looks like on your person's end... It could be on your end, too. I mean, you've got... You've got a knight of wands in the past, rapid, passionate action towards something. You have this knight of cups, like some sort of a love offer. It's buried right in the middle of a painful situation and sneaky behavior, though. However, your person, there's an ending, a, a passionate new beginning, a third party cutting you off, another ending slow progress towards some empress, some birth of something new, th this could definitely be that. I still, I still feel like that neither of you are 100% sure that you want this to be over, which is why you're both stuck in your heads about it right now. You're both still in this contemplation mode, trying to decide, is this worth continuing to invest in? Is this worth reinvesting in? Is this going to turn in, <clears throat> excuse me, to the Ten of Pentacles that you both want? Or is it time to cut your losses and move on? Now to clarify this Eight of Swords, we got the Three of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Four of Wands. So we got a lot of fire out here. A lot of fire out here. This is the first queen that I've seen that's not you, Libra. This could be... Man... You guys are both stuck in your head, stuck, trapped, and blocked about it. This Three of Wands, now look, we've got the Two of Wands as the overall energy. This is the decision point about which path leads you to the world you want, which path do you leave behind. In the Three of Wands, the very next card, that decision's already been made. That path has already been chosen. Steps have already been taken going down that path. And there's this positive expectancy that something good is going to come out of choosing that path. And moving down it. It just hasn't materialized in the physical 3D world yet. Still waiting on it. But waiting on it with this positive expectancy. 
we've got the Queen of Wands. Now this is a lot of passion and desire here. This is someone who knows what they want and they go after it. I'm feeling though that this... I don't know that this is you, Libra. Hmm. We, we do have a lot of wands out here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven wands out here. Eight wands out here. I don't know. I, I can't shake the feeling that this is someone else. This could be a fire sign female. This, it, at the very least, a feminine energy. It doesn't necessarily have to be female. I'm, I'm every bit as capable of being the queen of wands as a woman is. It's more an energy, not necessarily a gender. This could be an Aries. This could be a Leo. I guess it could be a Sagittarius. We're in a general reading here. I do have an Aries card I'm looking at. I have an Aries card I'm looking at here. The overall energy of the reading is an Aries card. Hmm. I don't know, but... At the very least, stuck in your heads thinking about this Queen of Wands chick. This goes for both of you. So your person is in hermit mode. This could be who this Empress, this birth of something new, could be the birth of something new with the Queen of Wands. Again, a fire sign. Waiting on something to pan out with her. Thinking about that a lot. And on your end, you could be thinking about it a lot, like feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked because of her. If you feel like you're stuck in limbo waiting on something to happen for you because of her. And we've got this Four of Wands. This is, Fours are about stability. So this is about stability of the home life, stability of the family life, stability of the connection between the two of you. You're, you're grinding on all of that. And you're feeling sadness and remorse about it all. Now, in the immediate future coming up, Libra, you have the King of Wands. Your person has the King of Pentacles. And the connection between you is the Wheel of Fortune. So this King of Wands, bold, passionate, fiery, determined person, someone who knows exactly what they want. They go after it with bold, passionate, fiery determination. They don't let obstacles get in their way. They don't give up. They see things through until the end. They don't take no for an answer. A lot of passion and desire here still. Now this could be how you're viewing your person. This could be in the future you're stepping into this King of Wands type energy where you know now what you want. You've, you're making your decision about what you want and you're going down that path and nothing's going to stop you. So let's clarify this King of Wands and find out why it's here. Tell me more about this King of Wands for Libra's energy, please. Bottom of the deck, we have that Ten of Pentacles. So you, you determined that you're going to get your Ten of Pentacles one way or another. There's more Leo energy here. This King of Wands could be Leo, it could be Sagittarius. Leo energy. This has been a very difficult situation for you. You're still in the future. Tapping into your internal strength, trying to make it through this. Tapping into your inner courage to face your fears. We got the Wheel of Fortune again. Divine timing. This can be the Wheel of Fate, the Wheel of Destiny, some fated event. This could be a change in your luck and fortune in the future. For me, this usually represents like what is supposed to happen is going to happen, and there's not really much you can do about that. It's going to happen when it's supposed to. And how it's supposed to. Yeah, so this, all this worries, fears, anxiety, stressing yourself out about it, it's kind of pointless. It's not really going to help matters. Yeah, transformation, the death card. Some massive transformation taking place in the future. Hmm. Now to clarify this King of Wands for you, Libra, in the immediate future, we got the Eight of Swords again, which is the energy of the connection between you guys in January 2021. We got the Emperor, and we got the Four of Cups. So the Eight of Swords again, thinking about it over and over and over again, still in the future. 
You know what you want. You want that Ten of Pentacles. You know what path you want to go down, but you still feel stuck, trapped, and blocked. You still aren't quite sure what the safe step to take is. But I feel like you're getting over that in the immediate future, though, because we've got the Emperor here. This is an energy of, it's Aries energy, but it's about taking control, taking charge of the situation, setting boundaries. He knows exactly what he wants, too, and he's got everything he needs to put together a plan to get what he wants and then to execute that plan to get what he wants. This is very strong energy here, taking charge. We've got the Four of Cups. Now this is either emotional discontentment. Like we've we've seen that Five of Cups repeatedly, where there's there's these three cups that are in the front of the card turned upside down. They're all spilled out, and then there's two cups behind the guy in that card. Well, here we've got those same three cups, but they're upright, just not enough to make you happy. It's not exactly what you want. So much so that you're daydreaming about some other opportunity that you think might bring you more fulfillment, more emotional happiness. Or, this could represent that there's some sort of a love offer on the table that you're not accepting or rejecting. It's just been left hanging here in the air at some point in the future. Or this could represent you thinking about making some sort of a love offer, but you just haven't. Either maybe you're afraid you're going to get rejected or something. Something's preventing you. Like you... You're not sure what the safe step to take is. I'm not exactly sure why that's there. Let me clarify that. Let's get this one. Okay. Why is this four of cups here? Can you tell me more? Okay, you're waiting on something. Why is this four of cups here? Some sort of a burden. Trying to decide. <laughs> I'm clarifying the Four of Cups, just trying to get a little bit more info for you on that. On the bottom of the deck, I have the Four of Cups again. So, it's it's just hammering home the point. This, this is you thinking about some sort of a love offer here. I still don't know if you're thinking about making one or accepting one. Oh, okay. I feel like you're still thinking about and grinding on this love offer that was on the table in the past with your person. Right under this, we've got the Empress. And we've got the High Priestess. And we've got the King of Wands. And we've got the Ace of Cups. <laughs> yeah. You're still thinking about... You're still thinking about this Empress that your person is hooking up with. And that's why you're still stuck in your head. You're stuck in your head thinking about that. It's it's almost like trying to hold you up from going after what you want. But you're not letting it. You're taking charge of the situation. You're still waiting on something in the immediate future related to this love offer. It's almost like you're, you're waiting to lay this burden down. Like to be able to stop thinking about it. To be able to stop grinding on it. To stop letting it weigh you down. But you're still in this state of contemplating it, trying to figure out, can this be fixed? Can this be reinvested in so we can get here or not? Is it time to cut my losses and move on? I can't tell you what to do, but it feels like, yes, it's time to cut your losses and move on. Now, in the immediate future, Libra, your person has the King of Pentacles. This is Virgo energy. Sometimes it can be Taurus energy. This is usually someone who's very stable, very prosperous, very abundant, has their finances in order, their material assets in order, their physical 3D environment is in order. This is someone who kind of has their shit together here. This is the person who would actually build the Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> Tell me more about this King of Pentacles for Libra's person in the immediate future, please. Why is this King of Pentacles here? Libra's person in the immediate future. Let's get two more on this King of Pentacles, please. Okay, okay, time out here. We got extra cards flipping over here.
bottom of the deck, we have the star. Really? You've seen how many times I've shuffled these, and it's given me the same story on the bottom again. The star. Hope and healing. Hope that this can be healed, coming from your person. Temperance again. This is... This can represent reconciliation energy. This is like either that or assimilating changes. Four of Pentacles. Holding on tight. Not wanting to let go of this love connection. There's the ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. I'm getting the feeling that they're trying to reconcile things here. Maybe that's what this Four of Cups is telling me in your energy in the immediate future. Your person's trying to reconcile with you. You're stuck in your head. Like, you know what you want, but you're stuck in your head about it. Trying to set boundaries with them. But you haven't outright rejected them yet. You haven't accepted their offer. You haven't rejected their offer. You're waiting on something to be able to put this burden down. And you're still contemplating whether this is worth investing in or not. Because after the ending of this cycle and the beginning of a new cycle, we have the fastest moving energy in the whole deck. The chariot. This is a cancer energy. This is about using the will to move forward very quickly and victoriously. It's about using the will to move forward past the problems, the challenges, the obstacles from the past. Get past all of that quickly and move into success and victory. Page of Cups. News and messages of love and emotions. Six of Swords. Moving forward into calmer waters. Leaving the rough choppy waters of the past behind. Moving forward toward what it is they actually want. Moving forward into clear waters where there's more clarity. We've got this Five of Pentacles. This is a breakup card. This is like being abandoned, being cast aside, being left out in the cold. Five of Cups. So there's two fives in a row. Fives are about conflict. I've seen the Five of Cups numerous times now. Hell, we, ha we have literally seen all four of the fives. I've got the Five of Wands in the past energy of the connection. I've got the Five of Swords in your current energy got the, the five of pentacles here in the future energy for your person the five of cups again i don't know how many times we've seen it i've lost track sadness and remorse about the past but then the six of cups so we're, we're seeing progress here we're going from the five to the six of cups this is about the past reminiscing about the past thinking about the past thinking about the good old days and the way it used to be this can represent a person from the past making a comeback in your person's life I feel like you bring them a lot of happiness. Here we are with another Leo energy again. This is usually the happiest card in the deck. Happiness, joy, abundance, bliss, harmony. Page of Wands, like news and messages of passion and desire. Taking the first steps down a path that leads them towards something they have a lot of passion for. And the overall energy, choosing the path they want to go down. Seven of Pentacles here. Here, this is in your energy in the future. It's in their energy in the future. That contemplation about, do we reinvest in this? Is this going to turn into the Ten of Pentacles? Or do we cut our losses and move on? And it's a new opportunity here. For moving forward in success and victory. And then I've got two cards of balance. The Two of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles. It's like weighing the options, weighing the pros and cons. Like, do I or don't I? Will they take me back? Won't they take me back? Trying to balance this whole thing out. After some sort of a break. And now your person's willing to put in the work. See, you were willing to put in the work in the past. And in the future, they're willing to put in the work. Man. What is it with people? Now... 
trying to clarify this King of Pentacles for your person in the future. We got the Fool, the Nine of Wands, the King of Wands, the High Priestess, Ten of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. This one's draining me. I keep catching myself like trying to yawn. I'm not tired whatsoever. Again, this is about stability and abundance. Your person having that. The Fool is about taking the leap of faith. Like, it's a new beginning here. It's card zero of the Major Arcana. Taking that leap of faith. Not needing to know what the steps are or what the outcome's going to be. It's just going for it. Just jumping off the cliff, figuring out how to grow their wings on the way down. Now, they're still walled off and defensive. This is a card of healing, though. It's This is the Wounded Warrior. He's built this wall to protect himself because he's been hurt. He's trying to heal so he can get his energy right to take the next step in his journey. Which would be the Ten of Wands, which we're seeing in your energy in the future. King of Wands, which is your energy in the future. He knows what he wants. Going after it, not taking no for an answer. Feeling divinely guided here. Intuition's talking to him. About this connection, this Ten of Cups. Happy fairy tale ending. And then the Eight of Wands. Hmm. The second fastest moving energy in the deck. It's, it's second fastest only to the chariot that we just saw a minute ago. Rapid back and forth passionate communication. Rapid forward movement. Rapid progress on something that he has a lot of desire for. Which would be this Ten of Cups with you. And in the immediate future, the energy of the connection between the two of you is the Wheel of Fortune. Divine timing, the Wheel of Fate, the Wheel of Destiny. This could be telling me this connection is a fated event. This could be telling me that there's a change in the luck and fortune of this connection in the immediate future coming up. It goes from being in the shitter to being things turning around. This could be telling me that what's supposed to happen is going to happen. It's just going to happen in its own time when it's supposed to. Tell me more about this Wheel of Fortune for the connection between Libra and their person in the immediate future, please. Why is this Wheel of Fortune here, please? I'll be damned. <laughs> Temperance again. This is... At the beginning, this felt like assimilating changes, and that's what it felt like, period. Like... Trying to be patient, trying to assimilate all the changes that were taking place with the towers, with this ten of swords, the indecision, like cutting things off, like this painful situation. It, it repeatedly kept feeling like assimilating the changes. Now, the past couple times I've seen it, it's feeling more and more like reconciliation. It's like recombining things. Putting things back together. In the original, like, Rider Waite type cards here, this shows an angel mixing together two cups of water, and that water has been separated. Like, cups and water represent love and emotions. And the water has been separated into two different cups, and the angel is recombining it together back into one cup, like, reconciling the situation. <laughs> the star again, having the hope that this can be healed. Still having sadness and remorse about what happened. A person from the past making the comeback. Again, five to the six. Progress. I just got massive goosebumps. <clears throat> Moving forward into calmer waters. Leaving the past behind. Yeah, leaving, leaving behind this being left out in the cold, this abandonment, this being cast aside bullcrap. And moving forward into victory very, very quickly. News and messages of love and emotions. Now to clarify this wheel of fortune, this divine timing, what's supposed to happen will happen, this change in the luck and fortune of this connection. We got the two of wands, which again is the overall energy of the reading. We got the seven of pentacles again, which <clears throat> is in your energy in the immediate future. It's it, We just saw it in your person's energy. Now I'm seeing it again. Taking stock of this whole situation. Trying to decide, can this be reinvested in? 
this is the path that you guys both want to go down. This is like the destined path. This is what's supposed to happen. And at the end of this contemplation, we have this page of wands. News and messages of passion and desire taking the first steps down a new path that you're both passionate about. Now, if you still have questions that you want answered about this situation or your relationship, click on any of the videos that just appeared on your screen right now. And when you do, you'll be taken to more Libra love readings that can give you more insight and more clarity about what's really going on in your particular situation. And I'll see you in the next video.